So today we're going to teach you how to create a blog post in Shopify. So let's get to it. On the left hand side in your dashboard you're going to see some things here. Now if you click this button here on the online store it's going to open up all of your different pages for your store and you're going to want to click on blog post. Here you're going to see all of your blog posts and I will show you my blog post. So here on my website if you go to blog you're going to find all the different um, blog posts that I've already created for my blog. So we're going to create a new blog post. Now before I start my blog post I usually write it out in Word. You can also use any process editor that you're comfortable with but I like to write my content out in Word to make sure that I get all of my spelling and then I pull it over into Grammarly to double check my grammar. And Grammarly is a free app um, that you can use on the web. You just paste your content in here and it will check it for you. Now there might be a paid version. It may offer you something more but I do not use the paid version. I use the free version. So to create a new blog post, you're just going to click this button here, add blog post. And your title here, um, it's going to be the most important thing. I'm not going to go over SEO issues, but this is basically the most important thing that Google is going to read uh, and understand. So that is how you're going to get you know, found in the search ranking. So you want to make sure that your blog post is something that is going to be searchable, people, things that our people are searching for. And you can also use Google Trends or you can use the Google Keyword Planner tool to find um, items that people are actually looking for in your niche. So I've pulled Word over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually just going to take this and copy and paste it over here. But so you can see everything, I'm just going to pull this over into my second screen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the header. I'm going to press copy and I'm going to press control V and I'm going to paste it there. Um, for your upload image here, depending on which theme that you have, is going to be determined about the size of your images here. So I went to the themes.shopify.com and I'm using a highly modified Lightroom debut theme from Shopify. So if you use the snippet tool, you can find the dimensions of your photos very easily. So I'm using Windows Snippet and you can just find it by just typing S and then you just click here and then you're just going to basically hover over and get the dimensions. This is the easy way of finding the dimensions of your photo. You're going to save it and then you're just going to make photos on top of that. Um, you know, I'm not going to save that because I already know the dimensions of my photos. And then um, for the blog settings here, um, you're going to, I use um, a photo to split up the content. And so there's different sizes that you, you can use, but I'll go ahead and show you that. So when you up upload the image here, I'm going to go out to my desktop and I've created this here. And it's like a little animated image um, I made in Photoshop for my site. I actually like the animated versions and I'll show you because it gives your site a little bit more oomph. This is like an animated GIF. So I have an animated one here and I have an animated one here. So I just think that it gives the site a little bit more something for them to click on. So I also created this cool header and I like to break up my text from the actual document. As you can see here, I usually put something in between here, whether it be an animated GIF or a picture. This time I put a picture, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And sometimes I use memes to break up the images too, as they're very popular. So to do that, you're going to click on insert image. 
and then you're gonna go to upload file and scroll out to wherever your image is and you're gonna click on that image and what I usually do is I pick um, this one the larger and then you can name it so it has SEO so um, I'm gonna put the title of my content in here so there we go and as you can see it's there so if I go to the code view here I can just scroll down and get some more room the only thing I don't like about this editor is there's not enough room. So I'm going to take my title once more and I'm going to put it in here. And to kind of break this up, I'm going to give it an H1 tag. I could use the editor, but it's kind of quirky. So you're just going to put your opening brackets and then your closing brackets H1. And Actually, I think I'm gonna make this an H2. And that's how you do your closing brackets. It's just using those little um, arrow thingies, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna do an H2 because I already have an H1 at the top. So you're just gonna click the code editor and you can see that it's here. So I think that's looking good and it's, we can save this because it's hidden and we can actually take a look at this. So um, to take a look at this and to see how it looks, you're just gonna hit the view button. And voila, you can see what it looks like before you publish it. And it doesn't look too long, but I kinda wanna center that in the middle, so I'm gonna center that in the middle. So I'm just going to select it to affect it and then I'm gonna go up here to alignment and center alignment and then I'm gonna go and paste what I have here from my word document the rest of the content here and I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna press control V and take a look at how that looks. I'm going to save it. I'm going to click view. So I kind of like how this is laid out. You always want to break up your paragraphs and I think I'm going to put some animations in here. I need to find some GIFs. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, so I'm back. I found some GIFs and um, GIFs, whatever. I don't know how they're pronounced. I just, whatever. And so like I fixed the text because I felt like it was too broken up. So now I'm going to put those um, giphys back into here. All right, so basically I'm gonna just press enter and I'm gonna add a gif right there, um, right there in the front. So um, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna insert image. I'm just gonna do the one so you could see and then we're gonna fast forward through that. So. Um, you don't really need to see this like a whole lot of times. So this one here is I'm going to put first because it says I'm on a budget. It's kind of funny. Uh, sometimes those types of images can be corrupt. So I usually get quite a few um, just in case. So I have another one. And this one will print, will, will come up. It will take a few seconds. Yeah, sometimes with the Giphys, sometimes they won't upload, and I I think it's probably because it's in a different file format, but you can use a file converter if you really wanted that Giphy. So I'm just going to insert it. Um, I'm just going to put a keyword, free stock photos. And there it is. So I'm going to press save. And then we're gonna view, see if we like the size. And I want that centered, so I'm gonna center that. And we're gonna do it the same way we centered the text. We're just gonna select it to affect it, and then center align, save it, and then press view. 
and this is um, basically how it looks and so this gives your your um, your blog post a little bit more um, I don't know it just doesn't look too boomery ish I don't know how to explain it it looks more like this is something that I would want to read it's not boring you know so yeah okay so I added all the giphys in here and you can see how cool it looks um, so I really like this and then now we're going to add the links here for the content that um, we're offering so the great thing about doing this in Word is that the links, if you copy and paste from Word, all of the links will be in here. And then all you really need to do is just go in here and change the headings. And I'm gonna change all of these to uh, a heading three. And then you just can fix the formatting. And sometimes it will do crazy stuff like that. So what you can do is you can go in here and you can just basically change the tags from the back end. But I'm not going to do all that because, I mean, I can probably just go back in and do this in Word and I'm going to go ahead and change the headings in Word. So I went back and I added the heading style to all of the little articles here and so it's pretty much ready to go I just need to find some keywords and then add them in here and that is pretty much it now that I found my keywords I'm just gonna pop them in here where the tags go and so all you have to do is just add the keywords right there and then you're done you can choose to add an expert which is basically like a little paragraph that shows up for Google so I write my articles so that they're already an expert <laughs> so that way that saves me time so this is basically how you create a a blog post and Shopify so the very last thing that you need to do is just click visible and then save it and it will publish it and then if you go back out to if you refresh you'll see that your new blog post will show up here with the expert and all of your keywords here and you can read more and then your new article will show up on your blog. So I hope you found this useful and um, thank you so much for, for watching. If you have any other Shopify suggested tutorials, let me know.